Pix is Gecko, and today I'm bringing you my June TBR. It's a bit early, but I'm doing a couple of readathons, and the TBRs need to be announced beforehand, so it's all fun. Um, sorry if there is um, the sounds of motorbikes going up and down in the background. Someone's deciding to do laps. I think they've stopped now, but they've been doing it for a while, and it's driving me crazy. Um, <laughs> sorry, very irritating. Um, so I've got my notebook here and it tells me what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all I'm doing the myth take, make your myth taker, I think it's called, readathon in June and I will leave um, a link to the announcement that Ashley did in the description and also uh, well, a link to her video, a link to Ashley's channel, a link to Charlotte's channel because they're the creators, and um, also a link to their Twitter. Let me just write that down. Okay, and for that. There's different um, paths you can take and you have to do them in order. There's a whole thing. I will link it down. It's fascinating and amazing and they put in so much work. And honestly, it's incredible what they've done. So I'm just going to jump straight into that part of the TBR and then I'll explain everything else as I go. So I'm doing the sorcerer path, specifically Faye. You get to build a character. It's a whole, it's so cool. And for me, I'm doing the Fae. So the first book has to feature Fae in some way. And I've chosen 13 Treasures by Michelle Harrison. It says on the back, Tanya has a secret, she can see fairies. So Fae will be in this book. This book, by the way, I saw in one of Ashley's videos. She was talking about the author. She showed this and I was like, need, <laughs> need. So, hopefully it's amazing, and I could add another check in the box of books and um, booktubers I can trust recommendations from, but I'm very excited. All I really know is it's a creepy old house, there's a mystery, someone went missing and she's got to find out what happened, and it's a middle grade, so it's a bit like that, but so pretty. I mean, look at the detail on that cover, the spine, everything's so pretty. And I really love that. Pretty covers go a long way with me. The next book on my TBR we will, for this challenge, readathon, is a foiled cover. Now, it also says shiny covers, like any bit of shininess. So I went with this ink by Alice Broadway. Look at that. If I just look at that, how reflective that is. That is hideous. I do apologise if I blinded you there. But this, very, very pretty cover. And there's absolutely nothing written on the back apart from the truth will get under your skin. So I have no idea what this book's really about. As far as I know, it's a dystopia. Also, I've never opened this book. And I think it's literally going to come apart if I do. Ah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> So I have no idea what the book's about, something to do with love, something to do with the dystopia. It's YA dystopia, so I'm assuming most people will know where it's going. Probably a romance I hate and something else, but I hope it's really cool. hope I love it. Anyway, next on the path is a book featuring Woodland. And I've gone with Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. My edition is the Bloom Through Modern Classics edition. It has a thing over it because I... I find it very difficult to touch certain books because of a texture thing. Um, and um, this was one of the books, unfortunately. So it looks like, it also just looks like it's a library book because they've got the same with the cover. But this is mine. Um, I promise. Um, and as far as this is a retelling of the Achilles myth or Achilles, something probably to do with the Trojan War, I guess. Yes. Uh, Greece and Age of Heroes. Yeah. 
So this is to do with the Trojan War. I'm not particularly um, up on Greek mythology, but I read Circe and loved it, so I'm hoping this one will be just as amazing. Why did I put that one that way? That's not helpful. Next, I have to read a book outside of my comfort zone, and that brings, and that's the final book on the TBR for the myth take, but it's also the first book on the TBR for the Olympic Games that I'm doing, which is inspired by Percy Jackson, and I'm Team Athena. So, <laughs> someone said, um, you know when you read, and people are like, you're a reader, I have books I don't want, and you're like, yay, free books, and then they give you books, and you're like, that's, I'm never going to read that, but thank you, and you've got to be nice. Yeah. Um... <laughs> This is outside of my comfort zone. This is Cinderella and the Cowboy by Judy Christenberry. Chris, Christenberry. It is a Mills and Boone Harlequin romance. And honestly, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to read these books in order, by the way, in this specific order. So this will be, this is what, 249 pages long. I'll be sure to read that very quickly. So this will probably be one of the last books I read in a month because I've got quite a few books on here that are quite long that I can and these ones you can read in any order for the Olympic Games but this one will be one of the last ones I read because I'll be putting it off as long as humanly possible because quite frankly who wants to read this? <laughs> Sorry if you're a fan of Mills and Boone Gecko, nobody who's a fan of Mills and Boone is going to watch your channel Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm going to take a quick break to have a sip of coffee in my cutest mug. My stepmom got it for me for Christmas a couple of years ago and it's like, it's black cats! Of course, why wouldn't I want a uh, mug with a black cat's face on it with the pointy ears? It's very hot. Oh, that's good coffee. Right, so moving on with the Olympic Games. There is a front for featuring a school. And for that one, I've chosen a book that if you've been following my TBR for a while, my TBR videos for a while, you will know. It's been on there a few times. And I actually haven't got one of the books on the, on the pile. Anyway, next book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. It's set at Watford, Watford School of Magics. And as far as I know, it's gay Harry Potter. Didn't like Fangirl very much, hated the fanfiction. This is that fanfiction in a book, apparently. This should be fun. <laughs> so next on my TBR is a prop. Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Totally didn't just drop a pile of books. No, definitely not. Another book if you've been following me for a while has been on the TBR recently and that is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare uh, it's, it's not the longest book on my TBR but the longest book on my TBR is War and Peace so it's good enough <laughs> it'll do <laughs> but yes um, this is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series so get this out of the way soon I can move on to the rest of them. I have read the Infernal Devices. Literally because of that, the epilogue of Clockwork Princess is the only reason I'm reading this. I need to know. So yes, very fun. Um, next on the list is read a book by your favourite author. Now, my favourite author is PC Cast. She's amazing and I love her to pieces. So... I've gone with Divine by Mistake, or Goddess by Mistake, the same thing, as far as I know, which is the first goddess of Partholon novel. I don't know anything about this. All I know is PC Cars wrote it, and I'm probably going to love it. I've read her, some of the Goddess Summoning series, and they were amazing, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And this... It's 571 pages kind of looks the same length as the book, the 700 pages, but here we go. And f finally for the Olympic Games TPR, part of the TBR, we have to read a book with a bird on the cover. So for that one I've chosen The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab. That is the bird on the cover. 
I have no idea what this is about. I'm pretty sure this is her V Schwab's debut. I absolutely love this woman. Her books are incredible. I've read a few of them. Genuinely. Um, at this point, she's an autobi author. Anything she writes, I will buy. Because I know I'm going to love it. So, this is the reprint of The Near Witch. Which was reprinted in... 2019, yes, I think, yes, first Titan edition March 2019, but was published in 2011, so yes, very excited to read this, it's, it doesn't look very long, but I know I'm going to, oh, look at all these end pages, because it's a library book you can't really, because on the front of it there's like library stuff, but like, look at that, stunning! Stunning, and it, it's going to be amazing. All of these, apart from the Mills and Boone, are five star productions, by the way. And going back to Myth Take, I am rereading re House of Salt and Sorrow, which is another book that I can't touch because of the texture thing, hence why it's got like a cover on it. This is a retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and it's quite dark. I read it last year. It didn't quite make my list, but that's because I couldn't get a copy of it from the library. If I'd have been able to get a copy of it before, I would have done it. But this, um, it wasn't kind of the thing where I could go, oh, I can justify buying a book. Whereas for the uh, group read, I can. I'm considering how amazing their last group read was, which was a show on the end of time. Knowing how much I love this one. If I hadn't have had it from the library, I would have read it straight away because that ending... Okay. Um, because that ending for me it's kind of like a Daisy Jones in the Six Deal. Like, ah, I wanted to read it again with that ending in mind. So I may read read the last couple of chapters and then go back to the beginning again because wow. Um, but yes, this was a really good book and I'm really looking forward to doing a reread. So and finally on the official TBR because there might be a couple of things. This is under there, but. Yes, um, on the official TBR, I'm doing a readathon for or, or read along of We Hunt the Flame by House of Heisel, and I've read this book. I read this book last year. It made my list. It was so good. It made my list of best books. Honestly, this book was incredible, and this map is everything. I would love this as a print. Like I would put it, like just I would put it there. Like literally the other side there's a blank wall there and I would put that print there so if that can happen I would be so happy but she ends, I think she ends up with that and it would be so cool if she could um, this is an Arabian inspired fantasy following two characters called Zafira and Nazir and um, I genuinely love this book so much I can't describe to you how amazing and lyrical the writing is so to get the opportunity to read this book next month with some people that I've genuinely never met before um, on a Discord server um, and get to talk about it as I read it and revisit such a beautiful lyrical world is incredible and I'm so grateful for that opportunity to get to do it because I was planning a reread because I can't wait for the sequel so this book is just so beautiful and cover is amazing and Hafsa herself is such a lovely lovely author um, the interactions I've had with her on Twitter have been absolutely amazing hi Loki, why are you under my desk? he wants fast um, this book and the author are so amazing that um, I'm truly, truly grateful for the opportunity to revisit this um, and it will probably join the ranks of one of my favourite books of all time the second time I read it because it's so beautiful and at least at this point I won't have to be worrying like what does this book worth mean because there is because a lot of it, some of it is written in Arabic there is a pronunciation guide and glossary in the back and how to pronounce their names and the places so that's fun 
but yes so that's the basic part of my TBR um, there is an additional part to the Olympic Games two of which I haven't managed to find suggestions for and the third one I ha uh, the two of the four I have um, so I'll just run through them very quickly the two I haven't got um, books for at the moment and probably won't do are Sword and Shield which would be a character you would not get along with and Monster Hunter which is a book with a magical creature I'm sure I've got hundreds of books with magical creatures in them I just haven't like thought about it enough yet to read a book published in the last five years for Pegasus riding would be City of Ghosts by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab under her middle grade name which I'm very excited to do um, I need to buy the th second one but I am going to pre-order the third one because I'm already convinced it's going to be amazing and the most anticipated book would be Hi Loki not Loki here would be I really should have got this before I started filming, but what can I say? The motorbike threw me off. And my most anticipated book is Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Crystal. So I'm very excited for that. It's the sequel to Aurora Rising, which genuinely made my top books of last year. Facts. Pretty sure it was number three. Because Daisy Jones and the Six on Radio Science were also on that list. But yes, I'm very much looking forward to getting to put these two books on the shelf together when I've read this book. Did I just destroy? Yeah. So yes. Uh, do not want my coffee over, thank you. So yes. Those last two are not on the thumbnail because they're not officially on my TBR. If they end up on my TBR, they end up on my TBR, but to be fair, how many books on my TBR am I actually going to read? My goal is all of them, obviously, but here's hoping for these ones. aiming to read one, two, three, four, ten books. It's doable, um, providing my hatred for Cinderella and the Cowboy doesn't put me in a reading slump. But yes. But yes, this is my June 2020 TBR. Move my chair slightly. Yes. All of these books. Very excited to be doing both of these readathons. Um, so yeah, feel free to let me know if you've read any of these books. If you like them, if you don't, recommend me some books. Let's talk. So yes, thank you for watching. Hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you next time.